Titans, I'm Cecilia Hahn and welcome back to our Thursday broadcast. Now let's go see what Counselor's Corner has for us this week. Hi everyone, it's Miss Wardwell and Miss Brown. Um, we just wanted to invite you to our stress relieving activities at lunch. So every day next week, there'll be a different activity hosted by our peer counselors. So just check out our Instagram page, our peer counseling Instagram page, and get the information to join our Zooms. See you there. Hello, Titans. This is Ms. Aragin inviting you to our CRF presentation in Spanish on March 10th at 6 p.m. via Zoom. You can go to our website for more information. Estudiantes, vamos a tener una presentación en español de cómo seleccionar sus cursos para ustedes y sus padres el día 10 de marzo a las 6 p.m. vía Zoom. Pueden ir a nuestro sitio de web para tener más detalles. Gracias. Thanks, Counselor's Corner. Now let's go see what Nico has for us in Ask a Titan. What's up, Titans? And today I'm here with Corey. Hi. And today we're going to be talking about time that is used outside school and inside school. First question, Corey, do you think we should have less time of school or more time? Well, because we have five subjects a day and then we learn a subject and then we get to a whole new subject, then I feel like we should have more time, but then less subjects so we can full on learn the subject and understand it more. Do you think time has been going fast, slow, or fast? I feel like because sometimes I do school with my friends, that when they're over, school goes faster and it's more fun. But when I'm by myself, with me and my computer, it goes slower because there's less to do. Is there something or some things that you do to burn your time? Well, during my time, I usually go to the park with my friends, either after school or over the weekends, and then we skateboard and play football. That's it for today. Thanks for coming on, Corey. No problem. Thank you for having me. Now back to Cecilia. Thanks, Nico and Corey. Now let's go see what Will has for us in 60 seconds of world news. Hello, and welcome to 60 seconds of world news. Texas and other parts of the South have been hit with a severe snowstorm that has left those parts of the U.S. with no power or water. As of February 16th, there are 4.6 million residents in Texas without power. This natural disaster has left dozens of people dead of hypothermia and carbon monoxide poisoning. Many are forming charity events as well as giving out free clothes to the homeless. $2 million have been raised in total for a Texas relief fund. Mass protests continue in Myanmar after police and security forces fatally shot two protesters. One of the deceased was named Mia Thwet Kine and died on February 9th, two days before her 20th birthday. Over a thousand cars showed up to the hospital she was held at, and they all traveled with her family to the free funeral. Protester Min Tet Nang said in an interview with NBC News, I want to say through the media to the dictator and his associates, we are peaceful demonstrators. Stop the genocide. Stop using lethal weapons. That's all I have for this week, Titans. Now let's throw it on back to the anchors. Thanks, Will. Here's a link to an informative article regarding the Myanmar military coup. Be sure to check it out. Now let's go see where Kendall and Aaron are headed off to this week. What's up, Titans? I'm Kendall. And I'm Aaron, and this is Titan Troubles. Today we went to Coronado, which is about a 35 minute drive from Poway High. In the plaza, right on the water, there's lots of food places and shops. There's also lots of outdoor activities like biking, boating, and jet skiing. That's it for this week, Titans. Now back to Cecilia. Thanks, Titan Travels. That's all I have for this week, and I'll see you all next Thursday. Have a fantastic day.